Hey guys, welcome back to Anything There, and this is Ryan. And today we're doing the Imprisoned Round 3. This boss fight is a lot easier than the Imprisoned Round 2, and the only hard part of this boss fight is Phase 1. In the Imprisoned Round 3, the Imprisoned has arms and a tail. Just like the first round, you have to attack his feet to make him fall over, but this time his shockwaves are a lot larger and he moves a lot faster. This can be quite tricky to do, but I recommend that you hit him straight off with the Grusinator to stun him and take out at least one foot. If you run straight in, you'll just get attacked really quickly as you can see right there. If you have a Stam Potion, I recommend using it at the very start of this fight, but you do not need one. It runs to the very front of the boss, take out one foot. You may have to sacrifice a few hearts in this boss fight, as he is quite annoying. As you can see, the shockwaves are a lot larger. You cannot walk in between his feet, it does not work. Just try to get the perfect timing, try to stay in front of him. You can also use a shield there, I did not know that. I think that was just pure luck, so I wouldn't try that tactic. As the boss falls over, hop down, get in front of him and do three upward slices. Now, in the phase two of this fight, the Imprisoned will grow a halo and start flying. All you have to do is call on the Grusinator and shoot him down. Run to the top of his head, do three orbit slices, and begin phase three. Now, in phase three, it's all about luck. The Grusinator doesn't have any more bombs as the bombs have been trapped. There are two ways to do this fight. You can go up, blow that, blow the rubble up and get a bomb on the Grusinator to shoot down the Imprisoned. Or you can do as I'm going to do right now, which is easier tactic. can also be very dangerous because if you miss, you will mess up the boss fight and you will fail. Wait in the center where the spur usually is. Wait for the shoot to appear and then go flying up and land on his head. You have to do this perfectly or you will fail the boss fight. You can get quite worried as it does not do it for very long and it starts flashing to say you're losing. Don't worry, the spur will show up. You go straight up in the air, land on his head. Remember to use your sail cloth so you don't take any fall damage or fall off. Do three vertical slashes. This signifies the end of the Imprisoned Round 3. Go seal him in for the last time and have a good time with your Legend of Zelda experience. Please like and sub.